The situation we are looking at now is a person who is a business leader, she is established, she has been a leading and managing in a more traditional setting, in a more traditional organization, in more established industries. And now she has a job opportunity uh, that she accepted. She accepted to be a CEO of a startup company, but it's an established startup. So she already has been taken up on generating value and generating profits. And she's looking forward to this new challenge, but she knows that there, it is going to be different. It's a different context, it's a different industry, People who she is going to lead are different. They are younger. A lot of them are from the Generation Y. They are techy savvy. Uh, they may behave and operate differently to her previous colleagues and teammates and people who were reporting to her. The question is, what would be your advice to this person? What would you tell her how she should lead these people? In terms of the experience that we have made as Delivery Hero, growing the company from uh, one person up to two, three thousand people, uh, has been to, to keep it simple, a uh, clear uh, uh, autonomous team uh, to work on particular pieces and give them that autonomy uh, to build that piece as good as they can. So instead of making everything a big, Part and everyone doing everything, let them be very free in the way they operate via structure. Obviously very important also that you share and involve them, that you give them a clear direction and vision why are we doing this. So make sure that it's very clear uh, why and how that, that person is fitting into the bigger story of things. There is a clear attitude from the generation Y which is more or less they want to be inspired, they want to be involved, so you have to to inspire them by giving them the full picture, but even by the action you do yourself, um, how you lead, you have to give them the clear view in terms of that they are in the same boat as you are and you are not standing beside or they are not standing beside and, and pulling the boat. We are all together pulling the boat and I think that's how you can manage them and I think very important is that uh, even though they think everything is possible and um, this is how they grew up, we all know that not everything is possible but you can at least get close to what is uh, possible. Um, you have to provide them everyday regular feedback. I think they are really stirring for for feedback very regularly. You need to make sure that you know yourself very well and that you are you are yourself. I think that's absolutely crucial. It's also very crucial to understand what are the needs of the organization that you're jumping into. So I think that's the second thing that you need to focus on. You know, what stage are they at? What sort of people are they? And what motivates them? That's perhaps the most important thing. And that doesn't change whether it's a millennial or a baby boomer. You still have to figure out what motivates them. And that could be each and every individual who is influential that you're working with. That's important to get that right. And once you've done that, the important thing is for you as a leader, first of all, you should know yourself, which hopefully you've done over the 15, 20 years you've been in a large organization. But then have the ability to adapt yourself, to adapt your style, to adapt who you are in order to be able to deliver what it is that the individual needs. For me, the most important aspect is entrepreneurial spirit and the ownership. And that for me are the two crucial things at a startup. So really to take ownership of what you're doing and really think about what needs to happen in order for his or her project to work. Um, and ideally to develop an entrepreneurial mindset, kind of push things forward. So the job for the CEO, I think, would be to foster that spirit, to enable the, the employees to contribute themselves, but also to demand it. So not just fostering, enabling, but also making sure that everybody kind of at least aspires to develop a, that entrepreneurial mindset.